Do you remember how to name this molecule? Well, let's start with, of course, the longest carbon chain. We have got one, two, three, four, five, six carbons. So of course we must start with hex. We'll then look for our functional group. We have got a carbon-carbon double bond, which means we have an alkene making the ending of this molecule ene. But don't forget to position your double bond. This double bond comes after carbon three, so hex three ene. We have got a fluoro group and numbering that fluorine depends on the smallest possible number. Again, we can number from either side, either putting that fluorine on carbon number one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, of course, smallest number wins. So we have got three fluoro hex three e. But we are not done. And most students would think that we were. And that's because when we have a carbon-carbon double bond with two different groups on each carbon, we also have EZ isomerism. If we look at this first carbon in our carbon-carbon double bond, our higher priority group is our ethyl group over here. If we look at our second carbon, the higher priority group, which is the group with the largest atomic number, is the fluorine. Because the high priority groups are on opposite sides of the molecule, this must be the E isomer, giving us E3-fluorohex3-ene.